Hey, my name is Tia. I'm here at Windward Community College and I just wanted to show everyone this wonderful worm bin system that we have here. So this is the active bin and as you can see we are putting this fresh food in which consists of a lot of carrot peels and lettuce because the composting worms really like a raw vegan type of diet with lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, in the back we have this shredded paper stuff and this is like the worm bedding that keeps them nice and fluffy and dry, not too wet, not too dry. And we'll use that to cover up all the food here so that we don't attract soldier flies and it doesn't smell bad. This is currently our active bin and it takes about three to six months for this all to turn into dirt or worm castings or vermicasts if you want to get technical. Now right here is our bin that is passive right now. So we have this nifty sign, no food, water only. And we just transitioned from this side to that side. So on this side, we're trying to make it turn into soil. Um, any little pieces of plastic, stuff like this, we'll pick out and throw away. If there's any big clumps of paper type of stuff, we can throw that over into the active side. And worm compost is best if you let it cure for a while. Um, you know, the three to six months to make sure all this stuff is broken down. And then it's ideal to use straight in your plants as a top dressing. Worm compost is also a great addition to seed starter soil mixes because it helps seeds germinate. Or you can take the worm compost and add it to water to make worm tea and use that as a liquid fertilizer for your plants. So to wrap it up, we're going to take all the paper and cover the fresh food waste and make sure it's thoroughly covered to suck up all the bad smells and keep the worms protected. And then we're gonna water it in. The worms like to get a nice bath. Give them a little shower once or twice a week. Help keep them clean and wash extra fluids and stuff away from their bodies. Thanks for watching. See you next time.